I'm Grant Horton. Welcome to today's video. Now, first of all, this video is really an answer to a question from one of my subscribers. And it was a case of how to connect a stereo microphone over wireless transmission to record a stereo signal on, say, a bridge camera. Now, you may know if you're using these wireless transmitter pairs, they are only mono. So each transmitter transmits, say, a left channel or a right channel. They're then combined in the receiver and you take the output into the camera as a stereo signal. Now, there could be a situation where you have a stereo microphone. Something like this. This is the Rode Video Micro, but this is a mono microphone, but you can get them as a stereo package. So say you wanted to take the output from this device to the camera wirelessly, then you're going to have to connect somehow from the stereo source to give you a independent left and right channel so you can transmit it wirelessly. So then you can receive it as a wireless left and right channel, and then this will output into your camera. The other situation is where you might have, say, like this um, mixer here, where you've got two independent mono signals coming into the mixer, and you're mixing that into a stereo signal source. And again, you want to transmit wirelessly from, say, the stage to your camera. You might want to use a wireless transmission system, and that's where a dual transmitter single receiver pack comes in. I've got here the Rode Wireless Go 2, uh, so we've got two transmitters and a signal, a single receiver. But you can use something like the Lark 150 or the Lark Mac, something like that, which have got two transmitters, single receiver. So the answer to the question is, how do you take a stereo signal and make that into two single mono channels, left and right, so you can transmit them independently, so you can have them as separate signals on your recording? First of all, I had a look around on Amazon and there is a patch cable which will go from stereo 3.5 millimeter to two 3.5 millimeter mono sources. And I'll put a link to that in the video description below. But being an electronic engineer that I am, I didn't want to spend the seven pound and I had all the component parts, so I've made one. It's just a 3.5 millimeter TRS plug with its lead and then two other TRS plugs I'll put a wiring diagram in the video here so we can see how this is wired. It's very simple enough. But if you don't like making your own devices, then if you want to buy the one on Amazon, then that link is in the video description below. So here on the desk, I've got the Tascam uh, DR40, which is a stereo uh, recorder. But I'm going to take a feed from this out into two mono signals. So I've got a left and right hand channel transmit them wirelessly from the left hand channel and the right hand channel, pick them up by the receiver as left and right hand channels, and then put them into the FZ1000 that's on the desk. So I'm gonna plug the input from the device, which is the line out from the DR40. One channel I'm gonna place into the input of one of the transmitters, like so, and the other one will go into the input of the other transmitter. So now we've got independent sources from the uh, stereo mic, or in this case, a recorder, into the wireless microphone. So let's have a look at the setup here on the bench. I've got the two transmitters, which are now connected via that splitter cable up to the DR40, giving me the stereo output. You can see on the Rode Wireless Go receiver, we've got our two channels coming through. And if I just scratch the microphone on the transmitter, you'll see we've got independent channels. So we'll now connect the receiver to the FZ1000. And again, we just use our output cable, which is 3.5 millimeter TRS and that will go into the mic socket of the camera and if I turn on the camera and we have a look at the level display you can see that the levels are being displayed on the FZ1000 there and again if I scratch the microphone you can see we've got two independent channels so there's the right
there's the left on its own there's the right on its own so you can see there how we've connected our stereo source in this case it's coming from a portable recorder but it could come from say a stereo microphone or from two independent mono mics being mixed through a mixing desk and you've been given the 3.5 millimeter output you just need to split that into two channels to give you independent left and right channels for your transmitter you can see there we've got independent channels for left and right which are going through as independent channels to the camera so you can record them as separate audio tracks let me switch this output from the fz1000 into my mixing desk here and you'll be able to hear that we've got independent channels from the dr40 so i've now connected the dr40 to the two transmitters and the receiver is plugged into my a10 mini so that is where the audio is being uh, collected for recording so again let me just prove we have got independent channels so that way that's how you can transmit a stereo source signal from say a microphone or from a mixing desk wirelessly to the receiver on your camera using two independent channels on the uh, transmitter and receiver pack so if you are going to do that make sure that you do get a transmitter receiver which allow separate channels a lot of the cheaper ones actually mix left and right when they come to the receiver so you don't have the facility of an independent left and right channel so that means you won't be able to separate the signals should you need to independently adjust the volume on each of your tracks so make sure you do get one that does state that it's got independent left and right channels something like the Rode Wireless Go 2 is obviously a good candidate or the Lark Mics or the Lark 150 do provide great signal quality from those devices so that's it for the video. I hope you did find it useful. If you're a new viewer and you're liking what you see, why not subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to be advised when I upload new channel, channel videos. I will be publishing more audio ideas and some video ideas very shortly. So if you want to make sure you get those, make sure you subscribe. So until the next video, thanks again for watching. Please do take care and I hope to see you all very, very soon. Goodbye for now.